Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you something really, really cool, and that is this, which is um, that 1 to the 4th plus 2 to the 4th plus 3 to the 4th on and on to um, n to the 4th, so the sum of the 4th powers of the integers will equal, it will equal 6n to the 5th plus 15n to the 4th uh, plus 10n cubed uh, minus n all divided by 30. And no, I was not looking at anything. <laughs> I'm just that much of a nerd. Um, okay, yeah? All right, so we're gonna prove this. And so let's test your memory and see if it's as good as mine, which is like, I'll have to erase this in a second because we need the space, but yeah, remember, this is the result that we have to get to. Okay, cool. Now, um, between recording this video and uh, the last video, I had to go onto my computer, so I saw a comment from one of the students on YouTube, one of the people watching my videos, who said like, oh, how do you keep coming up with such great content, love it? Well, that's how, because like, I read comments like that, and like, it inspires me to come up with great content, so thank you so much. And um, on the other hand, yesterday someone said, oh, like, uh, I was laughing at your rant or whatever it is. I don't care if, care if you call them rants, I don't care what you think, like, um, if what you have to say is not constructive, go fly a kite, and that's sort of like, um, like, as nice as I can be, read between the lines, um, if I cared about what you think, would you think I'd be wearing a mask, and making math videos, um, wearing a mask? Okay, um, let's get on with this. <laughs> um, okay, so this is how we start. Um, so so uh, notice that notice that uh, k plus one to the power five, and I'm gonna have to write small as I said, minus k to the power five is equal to it's equal to what is it gonna be? It's gonna be uh, five k to the fourth plus 10k cubed uh, plus uh, 10k squared plus 5k plus 1. And, you know, that's binomial expansion on this. That's all you really had to know, or like Pascal's triangle and, yeah. Okay, basically binomial um, expansion in any way you've learned it. Uh, will allow you to expand this and you take away um, the first term in this by subtracting k to the fifth and so the rest of them is this right hand side. Now we begin on the left hand side of the equal sign by setting k equal to 1 and if we do k plus 1 is obviously 2 so we get uh, when k is equal to 1 we get 2 to the fifth minus 1 to the fifth and on the right hand side that's going to equal uh, 5 times 5 times uh, 1 to the 4th, remember k is 1 in this case, plus 10 times 1 cubed, plus 10 times 1 squared, plus 5 times 1, plus 1. Okay, and when k is equal to 2, we get, um, we get 3 to the 5th minus 2 to the 5th equals 5 times 2 to the 4th plus 10 times 2 cubed, plus 10 times 2 squared, plus um, 5 times 2, plus 1, right? And we proceed in this manner on and on to k equaling n. When k is equal to n, we're going to get n plus 1, n plus 1. When k is equal to n, we're going to get n plus 1 to the 5th minus n to the 5th is equal to uh, it's going to be 5 times n to the 4th, right? 5 times n to the 4th, and then uh, plus 10 times um, n cubed, uh, plus 10 times n squared, plus uh, 5 times n, plus 1. Now, if we add down... Uh, to the left of the equal signs, and by the way, this is just like stating it, right? So if we add down, starting from when k equaled 1 all the way down here, when k equals n, the left of the equal signs, 
uh, this is what the sum is going to turn out to be. Notice that we have positive 2 to the fifth here, but negative 2 to the fifth. So positive 3 to the fifth here will have a negative 3 to the fifth right there. And so uh, there will be an n to the fifth here that will cancel this minus n to the fifth. So uh, when we add down on the left side, the only survivors are n plus 1 to the fifth, and then minus 1 to the fifth, which is minus 1. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to get 5 times, first it's a sum from k equals 1, to n of k to the fourth, right? So all of these guys, five, 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 but then it's one to the fourth plus two to the fourth all the way to the n to the fourth. And so that I could write using sigma like this, right? And this is an n right here. And then plus 10 times, um, and then it's k equals one to n of k cubed plus 10 times uh, k equals 1 to n of k squared, and then plus 5 times n times n plus 1 over 2. Uh, that here is like all the 5's times 1 plus 2 uh, all the way plus uh, n, and that's n times n plus 1 over 2. I show you in two different ways why it's that. And then of course we have at the very end 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 all the way to that one. Well, I should have started there, right? Okay, okay, but you get it, you get it, you get it. So that's n, because that's n ones. Yeah? Okay, obviously, like, I was running out of space, so let's come over here, where we have space. So the left of the equal sign, which is n plus 1 to the fifth minus n, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be n to the fifth, right? It's going to be n to the fifth plus 5n to the fourth plus 10n cubed plus uh, 10n squared uh, plus 5n plus 1. But then we have minus 1 right there, so I could just get rid of this plus 1. Uh, what I just wrote right here, that is the left of this equal sign. On the right of the equal sign, first we have 5 times the sum from k equals 1 to n of k to the fourth, and then plus 10 times the sum from k equals 1 to n of uh, k cubed. I know what that is. That's 10 times the uh, sum of the cubes formula is n squared times n plus 1 squared all over 2 squared, which is 4. So um, this here is a substitute for sigma expression right here. And then I showed you how to prove the sum of the square of the integers formula using this method and also using induction, but we know that the sum of the squares is going to be, well, first, the 10 in front of it, but 10 times, um, 10 times it's going to be uh, n times um, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6, right? Okay, uh, again, all of this is just the uh, right hand side of the equal sign here. Okay, but we're still not done. We still have these two guys at the very end. Specific, specifically 5 times the sum of the integers from 1 to n. Uh, and so that's 5n times n plus 1 over 2. So what is that? That's going to be um, 5n squared plus um, 5n all over 2. And of course we have the plus n at the very end. Okay, cool. Now it's, let's simplify some denominators and then multiply both sides by some constant that will get rid of denominators. First of all, this I can turn into a 2 and then this will turn into a 5, right? And this I can turn into a 3 and this will turn into a 5, right? Okay. Um, yeah. And so then now, this is the left of the equal sign right here up top. And all of this, including this last line, is the uh, right of the equal sign, right? So if we multiply both sides of the equal sign by 6, it will get rid of all the denominators on the right-hand side of the equal sign. And so when we do that, what we're going to get is on the left, and I'm going to enter this territory now because we don't need this here. So I'm just going to write one giant equation in one line, hopefully. So, so what that'll say is this, right? It'll say, again, multiplying both sides of the equal sign here by 6, I'm going to have to write 6n to the 5th uh, plus 
n to the fourth plus 60 n cubed plus 60 n squared plus 30 n is equal to on the right hand side well this multiplied by 6 is going to be 6 times um, well 6 times 5 so that's 30 my bad 30 times um, it's a lot of stuff to keep track of k equals 1 to n of uh, k to the fourth and so again uh, what I just wrote right here that is 6 times this here right and then 6 times this here is going to be well the 6 and the 2 will cancel to a 3 so it's going to be 15 3 times 5 right uh, 15 times this here so I'll write that as uh, 15 n squared times uh, n plus 1 squared is n squared plus 2 n plus 1 and then uh, when this is multiplied by 6 we're gonna get the 6 and the 3 will cancel to a 2 so that's gonna be 10 times um, 10 times n and then times these two binomials so I'll write that as plus 10 n times I'll multiply these two binomials so that's uh, 2 n squared plus 3 n plus 1 right okay but somehow this giant equation is not done because <laughs> then we need to multiply this by um, by 6 right and we need to multiply this by 6 when we multiply here by 6 what are we gonna get well we're gonna get uh, 6 and the 2 cancel to a 3 so 15 15 um, and it's gonna be 15 n squared so plus so we continue on plus 15 um, n squared and then it's going to be plus 15n but then we have to multiply this n by um, 6 right yes so when we multiply this n by 6 we're going to get plus uh, 6n at the very end right okay cool now we don't need this line I better not have made an algebra error <laughs> that would be annoying okay so let's start taking off stuff All right so like 15 n squared here I could get rid of it um, by subtracting 15 n squared from both sides so uh, now I've got 45 n squared here instead of 60 okay and then uh, 15 n here I could get rid of it and now my 30 n is um, a 15 n but then I have 6 n more to take so what does that put me at 9n? Right. Okay. So at least now the equation has reduced to one single line. <laughs> and what we're going to do is again solve for this. Okay, first, what do we have in this part? Well, this is going to be uh, 15 n to the fourth. And then it's going to be uh, plus 30 n cubed. And then plus uh, 15 n squared. So that's this here. I could erase it. And then this here is going to be what? That's going to be uh, plus 20 n cubed, right? And then plus uh, 30 n squared, and then plus 10 n. Okay, cool. I was really worried about that 9n. I thought that that's why we we're going to get it wrong. But remember, in the formula, it was minus n at the end. So at least that part is good. <laughs> OK, so we subtract 10n from both sides. So that means that disappears. And this becomes a minus n. So I know I'm good, at least in this part. OK, and then um, 15n to the fourth, I can subtract from both sides. And so this 30 turns into. 15 so we've got the correct coefficient in front of n to the fourth also and then the n cubed so 30 n cubed uh, there turns the 60 into a 30 first but then it was a 10 we saw and that's because there's another 20 n cubes to take so that turns this into a 10 now the coefficient of n cubed is correct and this here for the n squared um, there was no n squared and that's because 15 n squared and uh, 30 n squared combined into a 45 n squared so that means this 
completely disappears. So it's minus n. And the only thing left to do is divide by 30. Oh, I'm so happy, y'all. You have no idea, because I knew I was going to make a careless mistake. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Um, yeah? OK, cool, cool, cool. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.